Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another real time get ready with me. A ton of you guys keep requesting this video, which I love because I'm also loving these videos, so I'm happy that you guys like them too. Basically, if you guys are new here, um, be sure to subscribe. <laughs> but if you guys are new here, um, basically what these videos are, it's a video where I talk about, or I don't really talk about it, I just speed up me getting ready, but I have a timer running throughout the entire time of like the real time of the video, but the timer is sped up along with the video. Um, but pretty much it just shows you guys how long it really does take me to get ready because when I would wake up super early in like 8th grade, like 5.30 a.m. to get ready and I would like follow along with videos on YouTube, the videos would be like 10 minutes and I'd be like, is this really like how long it takes them to get ready? Like like 20 minutes or so? Like it just, it, I don't know. I felt like I was kind of like a loser for getting up so early. So I said to myself when I was like young, I was like, if I ever make a YouTube channel, I'm going to make it so that everyone knows how long it really takes me to get ready and I'm going to be like really real with my audience. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm holding up to my little Tory standard that I set for myself in seventh grade. So yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos all the time. So I'm always uploading content and it's really fun here. So be sure to subscribe. Have you subscribed yet? You really should. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Hey, I'm in an amazing mood right now. So if I'm like extra bubbly in this VO, you know why. So first things first, I have to tie back the dandelion that is my hair. Oh wait, are you kidding me? Am I like that moved over the entire video? Oh, good job, me. Oh my God, wait, I just made it worse. I am so annoying. Anyway, I'm just priming. Okay, can I like, I think it's because my mirror is in the way of my monitor, so I can't always see if I'm like centered, but note to future self, center yourself, girl. This is a mess. Anyway, I'm first going in with foundation. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. I love it. I think it looks really, really good, really natural, super full coverage, and you don't need a lot. Then I go with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, shade light medium, y'all already know, blend this out. Honestly, I'm using this brush because my beauty blender is dirty and I was too lazy to get up and clean it and wet it. So I'm using a brush and then my dry, dirty beauty blender to bake my under eyes. I use the RCMA No Color Powder. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with this powder. I just got back from a photo shoot at my spin studio and we had a girl come in and do our makeup and she used that powder too. And I was like, oh my God, don't you just love this powder? She's like, it's the best thing I've ever used in my life. And she does like weddings and she, um, you know, freelances a lot. So it's like wedding approved. It's just so good. Girl, seriously, go get you that powder. Like you need it. It's bomb. Little bronzer, hula, you guys already know. Little highlight. I think this was the Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit. And I really love it. Um, a little blush. You know, you guys know me. I don't really wear too much blush. But it just makes me look a little bit more alive. My eyebrows, I've been loving the natural brow lately. I have an eyebrow routine video up, so I can link that down below. Um, it is linked down below, actually. But I do show the natural brow on one of my eyes. And then, like, a more dramatic Instagram brow, if you will, on the other. So, if you guys are interested, it's linked down below. Go give it a little view. Go leave a little comment. Yeah. So I'm just doing my eyebrows right now. Um, today's look, I didn't wear false eyelashes. So that's also why this look is a little bit special. And lately, I girls, don't get me wrong. I love my fake lashes like to the end of time. I will always wear fake eyelashes. But there are a few days like out of the month where I'm like, you know what? I'm not feeling it. And today was one of those days and I really liked how it looked. Um, so I'm using the peach palette and I'm just mixing in, I think it's puree and candied peach on my crease and then puree on my lid and lower lash line and then a little bit of peach nectar or maybe it's just called nectar as my highlight shades on my eyes super easy eye look but it's really pretty and effortless and it makes light colored eyes stand out um, if you have light colored eyes try something new like try a little bit of extra liner and a little bit more of a warm tone look and your eyes totally gonna pop and change um, and people are gonna be like, oh, what did you do different? And you're like, oh, I just use different colors and whatever. It's fun to play around, try out new things. If you don't like it, you can just wash it off that night and uh, never do it again. You learn, you move on. And yeah, you never know. So here I'm doing mascara. And this is why I normally do lashes because it takes me so 
long to put on my mascara in order for me to like my face without lashes on. Like this is coat number four at this point. My camera died, I had to like take out battery, do some clips, you know, whatever. But yeah, this is what I'm saying, like this is coat number five. Like I just do so many coats of mascara, five coats of mascara to be exact, to make my eyelashes look good without falsies on. So it takes up the same amount of time for me to put falsies on than it does for mascara and falsies just tend to look better. Um, coat number six, but sometimes, like seven, <laughs> sometimes just fake lashes are too much for like an everyday look, but sometimes they're just perfect. Coat number eight, what are we on? Like, that's a ridiculous story. You don't need that many coats. And then I put on my lower lashes. So, yeah, you know how girls are like, one swipe and you're done of mascara. I'm like, oh, my God. Okay, so I just did nine coats. That's honestly a little bit embarrassing. Um, I always put on some sort of liquid lip. That is the NYX Satin Ribbon Liquid Lip. You guys know I'm obsessed with that. Here, I'm just going to get my straightener. I'm back. Don't worry, it wasn't gone for too long. Look how fluffy my natural hair is. You guys are always like, I love your natural hair. But I'm just like... Ooh, my natural hair is just ooh, ooh. So I straighten it. I feel like I show this in every video, but it's because I was saying this today. Like curls for me are just so hit or miss. Like sometimes they look so good, and then sometimes they can look so bad on me. So like straight hair, I just know always looks good. So that's why I do it a lot, just because I like trust it. You know, like I don't have to worry about it. I just know it's gonna. It's gonna look good and I'm texting. I don't know who I'm texting right now. Oh wait, yeah, I do. Um fun. Yeah, I do I do remember who I was texting. Cool. Sometimes I can like never remember, but I think in all my Gary with me's I've been texting the entire time. So that's awesome. But yeah, straightening my hair. You guys always ask for like a how I straighten my hair video, but this is it. I just run my straightener through it. And the straightener that I use, by the way, is by Rusk, I think it is. Um, I don't know. I saw it at Ulta and it wasn't like a lot of money. So I was like, okay, I'll get it. And it works pretty good. And then Nas put this in a video, like Nazi and Kavari. She was like, yeah, like this is the best straightener I've ever used in my entire life. And I was like, wait, I have it. I was really happy because I didn't know it was like a great straightener, but apparently it's a great straightener. So I was pretty happy that I had it, but yeah, I really like it. I feel like it keeps my hair pretty straight too. I had the hot tool straightener for a while and I just, and the chi one, and they both just made my hair like not straight by the end of the day. Like it was just, my hair was done, but I feel like this keeps my hair pretty straight and it keeps it looking pretty shiny and I don't know, I can do it pretty quickly. So yeah, now I'm texting and that's, that's my look. 51 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys all did enjoy this video. If you guys want to see my last real time get ready with me, that is right here. And if you guys also want to see my very last video, that is right up here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!